All right. What's up, everybody? Good evening. Guess what I'm playing? Something that isn't Resident Evil or Pokemon. <laughs> I even said it. Oh, wait, it's not showing up. All right. Hold on. Uh, what is going on? All right, hold on a second. <clears throat> what is happening here? Oh, there we go. Okay. All right, yes, it's preparing shaders. Uh, I hope I do not have to go through this every single time. Uh, here we go. Uh, Menu reader. Off. Yeah, I already... Left trigger to toggle. I already did this. Uh, wait. Toggle. Wait. What was it before? Hold on a second. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. There we go. So let's press X. Let's continue. Yes. Oh yeah. Uh claim my rewards, oh yeah. Let's just do this. Anyway, I hope everybody's doing okay. I'm gonna give this a, a whirl for a couple of hours. Just maybe two hours. Two hours and then that's it. Okay, hey, here we go. We're pleased to inform you that you have been accepted to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Term begins September 1st. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree of the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Elizar Fig to help you hone your spell casting before escorting you from London to the castle for a short of term, for a start of term, excuse me, for a, for a start of term feast and the sorting ceremony. Sincerely yours, Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. I guess that's a relation to Ron Weasley. By the way, let me just say, I am not a, I am not a Harry Potter fan at all. I saw the movie way back when it first came out in like 2001, The Sorcerer's Stone. I think I also saw The Chamber of Secrets couple years later and then that was it like I did not care never read the books never care for the movies I don't care guys I'm just playing this because I think the hype train is still going on despite Resident Evil 4 remake um, out which I will also eventually get to and will stream but just letting everybody know I don't care about Harry Potter I don't care about JK Rowling I don't care about her her views on trans people I don't care I'm not a political person I don't care about what people think I'm just here to play a game, okay? So, let's see. Uh, well, he's kind of good looking. That's kind of me. I want like the whitest. Well, that's a dude chick. I don't know. He's good looking. I think this one looks more like me. <laughs> I don't fucking know. None of these assholes look like me. Look at them. They got Asian, they got black. They got a white chick, black chick, white dude, black dude. They have trans, they have Asians, they have Hispanics. Nobody, none of these people look like me. Nobody, nobody looks like me. Let's just go with the first one, okay? Fuck it. I, 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 I hate customization. I don't care about customization, okay? Come on. Yeah, face shape. Oh, I can change the shape? No. No. Oh, he looks like a gorilla there. Asian. No. No. Uh, this is horrible. I don't want this, okay? Seriously, let's just leave him like that, okay? Now, maybe the hairstyle. I, I, I'd like to do something with his hair. The hell no. Fuck that. I read this is like <clears throat> in the 1800s or something, so why the fuck would they have hair like this? This is like... What, what, what the, the... 
home. Right. This is like what the ghetto boys wear in the in the hood here. The Spanish and black kids not wearing that. See that I like. Oh, that's actually I try to get that for my hair. Not right now, but I like that. Yeah. No, I like this one. Okay, come on it. Yeah, I like that. All right. What, what? Yeah, start the journey. Come on. Wait, voice one, voice two. That was quite something. Ugh. I am indeed a student, but I could very well. It was wonderful. Ugh. I believe I. A few cobwebs and some dust. Ugh. Nothing to be concerned about. Can we? Can we do it like American? Ugh, I hate British English. And this is a girl's voice. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. That's a girl. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. Oh wait, I can change the pitch. Oh wait, what is this? Cocaine lines? Complexion? Oh, oh, oh! I like this. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like this. Okay, now we're talking. I'm a badass scar. Oh, because Harry has that lightning bolt. Now I want something like horribly disfiguring. Oh, it's horrible. How about if he has scars all over his face? All over his fucking face. Been like a like a burn victim. Ah, uh, nah. Let's make him handsome. Freckles, moles. No, gross. Freckles and moles are gross looking. That's gross. People who have that stuff are freaks. Pimples, moles. Wait. Oh, he's got a... Okay, the mole moves all over the place. No, no, no. Gross. I'm gonna throw up. And complexion. What if we made him like a skeleton? Like a... Like a scary skull face. No. I don't care about this shit. I don't want to do customization, damn it. I Kalour with a U. Kalour. All right, he's fine. He's fine looking, okay? Enough. All right, name of my character. Uh, Alpha Chad... I don't know. Alpha Chad Wiz. All right. It would be Alpha Chad Potter. I don't know. Okay, Alpha Chad Potter. Dormitory witch or wizard? No, oh, I'm a wizard. Fuck you. Select your difficulty. Normal, easy, hard. Let's try normal. Story. <sighs> All right. Good. Can we start the journey? Ah, uh, this took like what? Ten minutes. Ten minutes or probably like eight minutes to, to figure this out. All right. Let's watch the story. Ah, oh, crap. It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a secondhand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the time begins. Can I get rid of the, the, the dialogue, the <laughs> captions? Eliazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eliasar. Mm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Wait, there's a horse. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, that's clever. I was like, wait. I thought it might be a glitch. 
What was that? Alright, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of the uh, subtitles. traveling companion a new student new yes sir I'm starting school as a fifth year of a Chad Potter how extraordinary <laughs> it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late nor have I of course as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins well you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? Well, I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. I don't Miriam. know what they're talking about. I'm just... How? I'm zoning out. She wrote to me about Ranrock before she died. Uh, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. Smelling my fingers I is more entertaining she had to than get this. Rid of it quickly. I don't even know what the fuck they're talking to about. To keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We did. a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? 
An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would, but stay close. We've no idea who created this port key, or why. Nope. I got to. Uh, yeah, nope, there we go. Wait. Off. Display subtitles. Off. Bye bye. That's what I should have done before. I don't know. He's moving around a little sluggish there. Alright. Yes. I've declared myself Alpha Chad Potter. I don't know what, what, like I said, I was smelling my finger and I just didn't care what was what they were talking about. How far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you think the port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And oh. I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right, and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Oh, Mind good. your step. Oh, can I fall? Where do you suppose your wife got oh, the man. key that brought us here? Jump. A good question. Jump! The Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. <sighs> ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. I bet I know where to go. You don't. Hogwarts Castle was built oh, by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it's it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. I know where to go. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. What the fuck is this? Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that one work you were practicing. It's like obsidian. Focus on the center. You tap RT to perform. Okay. All right. Tap R. Oh, tap RT. Okay. 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 All right. Ooh, I got magic. Excellent. Use your camera to select an active target. Some players prefer to select targets and move the avatar at the same thumbstick. The only camera. Uh, okay. I got gotcha. you. Whoa. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. What's that? <laughs> Your you? one works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. Okay. This is B. Why doesn't oh, do anything? There. A jumps. Okay. 
What does L do? L T R T L B. All right, this is all fun, but. Okay, just figuring shit out here. Oh. We're close now, it's just ahead. Oops. Wait, that was that was back. I just pressed the back button. Hold on. That's that. This is start. Oh, it's the same thing. Start and back do the same thing. Uh, this pulls up my uh, computer thing, I think. Oh, no, not that one. This one. No? Oh, okay. Let's go. Never mind then. Steady yourself! that let's go almost there zap that bird and zap it damn it much fun. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they value their privacy. Privacy. That talk key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Privacy. Privacy. We don't say that. Okay. Minimap shows your surroundings with you. Uh-huh, in the middle, this is the current objective. Press and toggle quest objective. Press and hold. was a noted seer. Interesting. Interesting. Explore the ruins. Okay. Right? Is that my objective now? Yeah. Take that, you pot. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! What? Oh, wait, what's that? Oh, it's Professor Fig. How odd. Professor Fig. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? Mm. Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. We're in that room. All right. Blast some shit. Come on. Wake the goblin. 
hello? Hello. Hello. Just a moment. <laughs> oh. Visiting Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key? Mm hmm? Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. To you. Uh, keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> uh. No hands. See, I'm Hundreds not even holding my controller. Oh, wait a minute. Hundreds. In fact, we right, we'll see quite cool. a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. Uh, now it's roller coaster tycoon. Uh... You'll want to take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after the was, was founded person. over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone uh. goes there anymore. Blah, blah, blah. I know story is very important to video games. Man, oh man, I don't care about this. All right, whatever. Here we are. Hogwarts Legacy. Not to be confused with Ward Hog, but Hog Wards. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Oh, fuck. Tired. Vault 12. Thank you for your help.
What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. What? Steady your wand with L and guide it along the symbols. Oh, okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. Oh, okay, I got it. Oh, okay, I see. I see, I see, I see. I got you, okay. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Past Revelio. Revelio. There, I saw something. Ah, okay. Move a bit closer and try again. Again? A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can Rebellion. see is the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Revelio. Huh? Revelio. Lumos. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. Mm, but to yeah. what end, I can't say. Bored. Stay Revelio. Cool. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Revelio. Not out of Gringotts. Professor, you're boring me. Revelio. Professor Fig. Stay close to Professor Fig. Or what? What's going to happen? What will happen? Where is he? Professor Revelio. And I see something up ahead. There we go. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Revelio. Revelio. Interact with magic. Okay. Lumos. What happened? When I moved towards the glow. It suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. Oh, that guy's upside down. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. You know what that means? Revelio. I Revelio. This is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. All right. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. You're giving you're giving too much away, please. <laughs> okay. I see. See, so I got to position this before the red gets me. Oh, I missed it. Damn it. No. Oh, did I get it? I guess I did. Okay, good. Wait, you require the wand lighting charm Lumos, which is automatic, which has automatically been slotted to your spell set. Lumos creates a light at the tip of your wand to help you see in the dark areas. See in dark areas. Hold RT and tap Y to cast or extinguish Lumos. Lumos, well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Oh, that's cool. I can do this. Revelio. Revelio. And Lumos. 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 All right. I got you. Come here. Come here. Come here. This is too easy. Come on. 
give me thy sword. Revelio. Felatio. Look out! Protego. Protego. Thing right there. Look. Yeah, so. I don't know what to do. It sucks. Good, let him die. Retarded. What the fuck am I supposed to do? These things keep coming. Oh. Okay, what's that over there? Oh wait, maybe I'm supposed to protect three times. Hold on. Stupid How about stupido? Okay. Stupido. Stupid one. Stupid Oh, 
I was supposed to just block for uh, three Stay times. Close. Oh. Oh, that was my bad. I was just supposed to block for, for three times. No, I'm a dumbass. Professor! <sighs> Professor Fig! Here's Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? Uh, oh yeah, uh... What's happening? Lumos. The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Over here? All right, all right. Don't don't give it away too easily. Revelio, let's go this way. It looks a little bit like oh, Eddie. That's Eddie Douchemane. where they're leading me. That glow again. Eddie Douchemane. Protego. No. Protego. Uh, wait. Lumos. Right. Lumos. Oh wait. Uh, no. Revelio. It's Palacio. My own this time. Lumos. I know how to do it now. Nope. All right. Don't attack me, please. Wait, stop. I need to align these statues with their reflections. How the fuck do I do that? How do I do that? Right. Okay, hold on. Lumos. See, this fucking game's gonna make me have to figure this out, right? Where do I need to be to get all of them to stand at once? Oh, okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. There we go. It seems I have no choice. I'm gonna have to fight my way out of here. Come on, buttholes. Oh, potato! Super fine. Yeah. Oh, Stupid oh. Stupid oh. What's he saying, stupid oh? Stupid old. What? Bitch. Oh! I want that sword. Hold Y during Protego to stun enemies with a stupefy counterattack. Stun enemies take extra damage indicated by gold numbers. Hold Y during Protego. It sounds like he's saying potato. Stun enemies with stupefy. It's not sticking. I don't understand what he's saying. I don't know what you're What? I have no idea what you're saying. Oh! That's not fair. Oh, that. That's what you meant. Stupefy. Stupefy. Stupid potato. Dude, use the potato. Retard. You deserve to lose. Stupid. No, go to this guy over here. Then. Stupid. Potato. Done yet? Thank you. 
Scoopify, Potato. Press, wait, what? Press down on L to sprint. Wait, I can't see. Lumos. Okay, wait. Ah, uh, okay, there we go. Uh, there we go. Lumos. All right, I guess step through here. Uh, but I want to go back. Oh, that's pretty cool. What about if I go this way? Right? Look, now I'm here. Now I'm over here. Oh, now that oh, way. Over here. Then if I go here, it's not there anymore. Look. Whoop. But then if I go through here, wait a minute. Right? There it is. Wait, but it's not here. Wait. Oh. Kind of in there, but it's not really. See? Look up. Oh. Up. Oh. Now I'm in there. Oh. Oh. Now it's not there. Now I'm in there. See? I don't know. Oh, stupid. What is that? Floating thingy. Loading vial. It's like sunrise, sunset. Sunrise, uh, sunset. Are. How did you... What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Follow my lead. Too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. Hmm. I just realized my my Chris Redfields don't really fit the uh, the game here, so I'm gonna have to create a new photo layout. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just 
Give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have to... I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Can we start the game, please? Send me on my, my, my way. Send me on my mission. Ah, oh boy. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Black. 
Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. <laughs> the sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain... expectations. Oh boy. Oh no. I gotta, I gotta... Can't wait to start classes, can't wait to explore. Uh, it's the same thing! I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. What? Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. I wonder. Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm. What is it? I don't know. <sighs> is it ambition? I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. Oh, yeah, those are the bad guys, right? Slytherin or what's it? H Hucklepuff? H Cocoa Puff? What is it? Slytherin known for cunning, ambition, and hunger for power. Uh, yes. I want to be the bad guys. I want to be bad. I'm in the Slytherin. You belong in Slytherin! And one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Uh, hopefully I don't have roommates, especially annoying ones. Please, no, no roommates. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. 
It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Very well. We have to. Aspiration. Ass. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Hmm. Boy, boy, boy. Tired. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Let's start it. Find your common room. Hey, where am I, though? Oh, this is like everybody else is sleeping here. Yeah, it's distressing shit. Oh. How about Lumos? Lumos. How about Revelio? Revelio. How about uh, what's the other one I have? Urantia. <laughs> Urantia. How about ass juice? Can I run, please? Okay, there we go. Thank you. Well, how come? Okay. I suppose some introductions are in order. Uh, I hate new people. I hate people. Mm. Last you bastards. Oh, who's this? Already knew that. Right, who are you, dork? Sebastian Sallow. Can I help you? Uh, I don't like you. Oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. I don't care. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort. I'm to Alpha school. Chad Potter. He was a friend of Professor Figs, who merely joined us for the ride. He does look like Harry Potter. He does. Impressive. He just needs Dreadful glasses. way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. Uh, it was terrifying. It was exciting. Different way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. It was exciting. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Exciting. Interesting perspective. So the British How talk. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. Uh, nice to meet you. What are you, what are you reading? What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough, but not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> that is a conversation for another time. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. You're a dork. I don't like you. Boom. Oh. I would just be like, like that uh, Malfoy kid. I'd be like, you know what? I'm an asshole, and I don't want to like any of you people. What? Interesting. I fucking hate all of you. Look at me spin the globe. Look, look. Oh, hey, baby. What you waiting for? What up? Want to like? Play with my wand. <laughs> oh God! Introduce yourself to Imelda and who? Ominous, ominous. <sighs> Where the fuck are they? Ugh, over there. Ominous. 
I wouldn't do that if I were you. What's it to you? Mind your own business. I'll turn you into a frog. Look. By the way, you tell me to do not to do something, I'm gonna do it. Uh, you might want to think that again. What? What are you gonna do about it? Look. Do whatever I want, bitch. You gonna tattle on me? What's this? There needs to be more exploration. Like, oh my goodness, look, someone was playing chess. Oh, what's that? Look, look, look. Oh, it's floating. Oh wait, look, they're floating. And disappearing. Whoa. Hey, I like that. Do it again. Do it again. Oh look, they're playing chess. Oh look. Wait. Oh shit. Oh, that's pretty cool. Wait, but the white didn't even make a move. That doesn't make sense. Wait, let me watch that again. Hold on a second. Okay, white goes first. I don't know why you would make that move. Any any chess player knows not to make that move. It's the same fucking thing. And then the queen moves. So then why didn't the queen... Oh, wait, or is that the king? Wait, the, there's not enough pieces on there. Rook, bishop, or rook, knight, bishop, queen, king. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, I don't know. I heard some chatting in the girls' lavatory about booms. Alright, let's go meet these idiots. If you do that, you'll lose. Trust me. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. They should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Off Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. Wish you had been there. We handled it. We handled it. And I think you're underestimating the nature of a dragon. A broom would have been kindling. <laughs> <laughs> Not the way I fly. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Mm. You know, I want to like go make some spaghetti. I actually don't want to play this anymore. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? Playing. I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Oh my god, farewell then. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Why is everyone so twitchy? Do you have a lot of time to fly during Wait, school? No, I, I make the time. I didn't mean that. Very well then. Goodbye. Goodbye, Imelda. Nice meeting you. Imelda. Imelda Staunton. Uh, boy. Uh, this one. Over here. Really Ominous Gaunt. Now that's a cool name. Ominous Gaunt. I like that. Oh, he's I, I think I heard one. Die balls. Is he blind? Hmm. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Oh, I think he's blind. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm oh. guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Uh oh. Well... <laughs> If I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> You're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you'll need it. And even though he's blind, I'm sure he can uh, he can see, like he, he can like see into the future, right? Did you suspect you'd be in Slytherin? Do mermaids often appear outside the common room? Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. 
My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status, a pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. All right. I decided I'm going to play uh, Elden Ring. Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Common room window. I can do a British accent. It's very easy. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. Even though I am an American, I can do a British Here's accent. Without here. sounding pretentious. Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. The Americans think, oh yes, of course, sir. But it's very easy. Like, yes, British people can talk over the top, but most of them are pretty normal and chill. Like, oh, hello there, sir. How do you do? And also I've learned it's less to do with accents and voice and more to do with tone and pitch of your voice. Because, you know... Most of them have a, and, and like in the case of Irish and, and Scottish people, they have a cadence in their voice, you know. So it's like, oh, they're after me, lucky charms, laddie. Oh, we're going to chop them all into haggis, you know. It's very, very angry, very fierce, but they have very, very a lilt and a lift and a pitch, you know. Now we don't. I guess what I'm trying to say is like, we Americans just talk straight. But in Europe, they raise and lower their, uh, their pitch and tone. I don't care. You know what? Let's just speak American English, okay? It's it's the best. At least when I talk, people know what I'm saying. I don't need uh, subtitles. You know. So. All right. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Mm -hmm. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, We've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. <laughs> the face scans, the way the, the lips move. Here you are. Go with the words. They did that very well. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me, and we shall put it to the test. You're kind of cute, actually. This way. You were younger. I guarantee if this bitch was younger, she was hot. She has nice eyes. Now, of course, she's a thousand I years old. I certainly so. would have appreciated okay. something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. You can tell she was attractive. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Law. Wizarding law. Do lore. keep up. All right, all right. Keep your panties on. Why don't you cast Revelio on that statue and see Revelio. what the all right, all right. guide can provide? I got gotcha. you. I got it. Kelpie statue. The statue depicts the Kelpie, a shape-shifting water demon native to Ireland and Great Britain, which usually takes the form of a long-maned horse. The largest Kelpie ever ever reported is the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland. So? Wait, huh? Huh? 
Uh, I don't care about this, though. No, I don't care. I don't care. Oh, man. Now there's progress. Which tells me I'm going to have to explore a shit ton of uh, areas, right? Alright. Why do I feel like this would be a better iPhone game? Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that. Inside and outside of the castle. Uh, I, I really won't. I just want to, like, battle monsters, battle shit, finish the game, and then move on to the next. <laughs> Maybe I'll go back and, like... Pick some stuff. Oh. That is cool. I like that. Is that my bedroom? Hello? Oh. That's, that's pretty cool. And if I get close, right? Go so about straight to. Oh, shit. What happens? She's gonna spank me? What's this? Oh, these are all the spells that I can unlock. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my god, there's like a lot of them. Four, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so 23. 23 spells. That's pretty cool. Oh, and then I can actually put them over here. Okay, that's pretty cool. Can I fly? I want to fly. I, got, I hope I can fly in this game, guys. I really, really do. I want to fly like a birdie. Oh, look. A statue. Ah, good timing. Look, the statue. Perfect the, the, opportunity to show you how to use movement. blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Blue flames. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Uh, you've discovered flue flames. Fast travel. Oh, actually, that might help. You can open the map. Okay. All right, I see. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. All right, cool. I love it. Select the Grand Staircase region to continue. In this view, you can see the flue flames available in that region. Green flue flames represent flames you've discovered, including your own house, common room. Gray flue flames reveal the location of undiscovered flames. Oh. Oh, okay, so I can teleport to those different areas. Gotcha, okay. The right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, library, and greenhouses. Select the library annex region to continue. Professor Weasley has unlocked the central hall flu flames for you. Stop. Use R to rotate the map and fast travel to the central hall flu flames with X. That's pretty cool. Cervelio. Felatio. Okay. So far, I'm kind of bored. I guess I get it. This and here is we are. The tutorial. Quite the time saver. But these stairs lead directly to Central Hall. I don't know. I'm bored. I hate. I hate games. You can I have to get almost shit. anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Look, there's a flying book over there. Go check that out. All right. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Huh? What will I learn in charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes. All terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard. And a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. 
Yeah, see when I can just tell. I know I keep harping on this, but yeah, when she was uh when this chick was younger, you could tell that she was probably hot. Alright, what's Hogsmeade? You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butter beer there with friends in due course. You know what I should do? I should go like on Amazon or, or eBay and buy like a, a, a theme. For every game I play, I should get like a theme. Like, since I'm playing this, I should get like a wizard's robe and dress up for you guys, you know? I was just thinking about that. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to like, absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. When I play Resident Happily, Evil... your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I was saying, when I play Resident Evil, I want to um, dress up like Chris Redfield. Ah, hold on. Seriously, I'm gonna do that. I wanna, I wanna do that. Just give me one second. Just checking, checking some shit out. <laughs> hmm. Okay. I'm back. But, oh my god, I think I'm gonna, like, end this because I'm bored. Okay, my suspicion, what, is that there is more to the story than the search. Ah. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... Oh, I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare look, look aptitude right there. for magic, the it seems. Line. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today, and remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you, and invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned, and we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Ah. <sighs> That's a professor thing. All right, bastard. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before blah, you immersed blah, yourself blah, in blah, studies. Blah, 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 blah. Did I hear you and Professor Too Weasley talking about exploring ruins? Uh. Yes, sir. But I didn't tell her anything else about her travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, 
I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Oh my god. Uh, must I? Is there, is there going to be like side quests and shit like Breath of the Wild? I don't want to do all that shit, man. <sighs> okay. Attend defense against the dark arts class. Class. All right. Oh, some quests are locked by spell and or level requirements. In these cases, you will need to be required to be the required level and or have the required spell to activate the quest. These spells can be earned by completing professor's assignments or as quest rewards. Okay, well, let's go here then. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. I don't know. I feel like what we just did earlier with the knights and the learning the magic, that was too soon. Like, it should have started with this, and then we work our way to uh, learning all this shit. Revelio. 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 This. Lumos. Lumos. It's too soon. It's too early to be doing all this. Cast Charmed Compass. Charmed Compass will lead you to anything you're tracking. Yeah. Well, okay. I can't wait to watch you try. Come catch bees. Yeah, that was me. I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. Alright, let's check out this place. Hothead. Oh, wow. Okay, this is cool. Nice. Wait. There's something wrong though. Like the uh, the shadow that hangs over my forehead from my from that hair on my head, it creates that weird thing with. Uh, it's usually always a problem with video games. I forgot what it's called, but it's like a the bloom or the flare or something. Oh, are those spirits? I will have you know that your so-called pets were found spinning webs in your mother's shoes this morning. This oh. is ludicrous. I am putting my foot down quite officially on anything I see today, Max. <laughs> that. Who the hell's talking? 
Loomis. Well, I will say the graphics are spectacular. Sound sound effects is good. I'm using the whole the old game pro uh, judging. Controls are nice. Fun factor. I mean, I haven't really done anything, and the challenge has barely even begun. Off on another adventure, are we? Oh right, the the flames. Okay. Oh okay. So I just pass them by. Okay. So then if I do press the back button, okay, side quests are now available. Another time. Uh, good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt, no? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Like the kid's dick. Oh, 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 no, chasing me. Oh, wait, I fucked up. Okay, hold on, try again. Oh, 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 I see, wait, A, A, and press A, and press A, and we get there, okay. Levioso. Levioso. Levi Shmoko. I learned it. Now, let's try something a little larger. Why does she walk like that? She has a bad back. Okay, here we go. Let us begin with a basic cast. Uh. Okay. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember. How do I do that? A surprised opponent oh. is a weak. Oh, okay. No, stop. Mr. Pruitt, so Art Wait. helped me oh. demonstrate earlier. Wait. Levioso. Go. B, okay. Now, the basic cast. Huh? What? Well done. Oh, I can't remember all this. Come on now. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Uh, uh, Protego? That, you gotta throw that into there too? All right. Come on. Ah, this should be nope. easy. Ah. This can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick lad. That. Fish, 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 fish. Mm, 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 mm. Oh. Try to anticipate your opponent's next move. Stupid Protego. Oh, I just whooped that. Come on. Use the basic. Oh, you motherfucker! You're oh. good. Now, perceptive. 
Thank you. Watch your opponent die from attack or defend yourself. Oh, I can stupefy. You're probably good at this, aren't you? I know. Oh, you motherfucker. How's the view? Oh, he beat me. <laughs> that had to hurt. I lost. Oh, you know I'm gonna try that again. Fuck you. Oh, I lost. I hate this. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to do good at this kind of shit because it's like I gotta remember shit and, and time signatures and. Uh, this shit. Protego. Stupid. Lucky. Nothing lucky about it. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing up there? Shut up, faggot. You're oh. good. Now perceptive. Stupid. Oh, I'll be your first jewel. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. <laughs> Let me observe. I do enjoy a life of jewel. Try to anticipate your opponent's next move. Oh, I won. Not bad for a beginner. Wow, okay. You give as good <laughs> as you get. <laughs> oh, God. I don't want to play this anymore. I want to... I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. I knocked his ass Points out. to Slytherin. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. No, no more assignments. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. Uh. Oh. Uh, all right. I don't want to touch you, dweebs. Get out of here. Dweebs. Potato. Oops. Potato. 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 Okay. Lumos. So that's Lumos. Levioso. That's nice Levioso. Work. Okay. Hold RT. Okay. I get it. And then just Y is Protego. Lumos. Protego. Uh, what's the other one? Revelio. That's right, Revelio. And that's to change. That's to choose the other ones. Okay, Levioso, Lumos. All right. What up, dweeb? I enjoyed that. Loser. Well, that duel was quite something. I whooped your ass. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice. Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Dueling. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Student. Then again. Perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Uh, I'm not sure I want to. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Mm. Unsanctioned? I don't know. School rules are in place for a reason. Yes, to keep students in the dark. So many things we're deemed unprepared to know. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance, if you're interested. 
Okay, we'll see. Till next time. Uh, quest completed. Defense against the dark arts. All right, let's go to charm school or charms class. What are you up to now? None of your business. Oh, I wish I could fly. Fly like an eagle. To the sea. See, I can speak British. British. Fly like an eagle. My spirits carry me. How it's got the solution. That. Fidelio. I mean, Revelio. Uh, uh, more? Okay. No running in the holes, Nancy. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. Right. We sometimes have to remind Oops. him that he is the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. Me. Do do. Mm. Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. What kind of accent's that? Hello, I am Nettie. So oh. you are the new student. You seem nice. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. He's now, Indian. This will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Mmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, mm. Do you Boy. even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Of course I do. Watch. Mm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss mm. Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. All right, what? I Accio, Accio. Accio, Accio. 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 There we go. I need that. That is not bad. You are Where is she from, Wakanda? Learner. I, I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. She's from Wakanda. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. Hmm. Oh, boy. All right, after this this class, I'm, I'm, I'm turning this off. I'm so bored. <laughs> I think I'm probably gonna make this full screen. I don't know, unless I make like a, a a photo layout with the witches or the wizards from this game. I don't know. Uh, Alpha Chad Redfield doesn't fit with this motif. With this Hi. game. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport? to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Uh, blueberries? 
got the LGBT uh, colors almost. Almost. Alright, what Basically, do I do? Cast Accio on one of the spheres and increase your charm at the That's it! Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing them. Excellent. Not to worry. Don't tell me what to do. I know what Very to do. Very good. Happens to the best of us. Huh? Very good. Points to Slytherin. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before. And Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yep. Yes, sir. Uh, what are we doing? Wait, what? What is this? There we go. Oh, I'm supposed to pull them to the to the. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Easy, easy, easy. Don't lose your composure. Let us see this. Shut up, bitch. Hey. Black bitch. Fuck you. Yes! No, I want to reset this. No. What am I supposed to do? Now stop. Oh, I'm supposed to let go. I'm supposed to let go. Okay. Splendid. Here we go. Oh, okay. Oh, I can win now. Now I know how to beat this bitch. That is how it's done. Shut up. Or Oh, okay. Oh, I need more. I, I need more practice. <laughs> I need more practice. Fuck her, fucking bitch. You gorilla bitch. Fuck you. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? I need more. I need more practice. I need more practice. Oh. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. Shut up. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. I would turn this girl into a girl and she already looks like that. This is bullshit. Akio. No, stop! Not to worry. Oh, I hate this. Let us see this. Oh, what am I supposed to learn from this? What am I supposed to fucking learn from this crap? Ah, look, it knocked her out. Ah, I hi. I had that. Stupid whore. All right, it's my turn. Uh. Oh, you asshole. Shut up! Just shut I wish you could slap her. Can I slap her? Watch this. Open monkey face. That's not fair. Yes! Shut up. I don't want to play this anymore. Bullshit. I'm not a musician. A magician. No. no. Move, 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 move. Excellent control there. Fuck you. Very good, both of you. Well done. I'd be like a very mean wizard. I don't like competition. I'm talking about in real life. I don't. I'm not. A, I'm a competitive person, and I'm not like a. I'm a sore winner and a sore loser. So like, like this black girl. Like I'd probably like smack the shit out of her, you know, or anybody. A white guy, black guy, white girl, black girl. I don't care. It's, I hate people who like are my competition. Things on the way out. And I don't know. I just. I hate that. Well done back there. Shut up. You took the loss in stride. I see, didn't want to go too easy on you. It took me weeks to become proficient it, with Akio. You see what she's took saying? Weeks for me to get anything right. I would I tell her to shut the care. fuck up. If this was real life, I would it's say shut easier. the fuck up. I promise. Shut the fuck up. 
I'm glad you understand. I, I would say shut the fuck up, bitch. All right. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. You got crazy eyes too. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. You my mother from received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. In hey, Uganda, it sounds like you, you're like Wakanda. I I don't care. I don't care. Look, you know, honestly, guys, if this was real, I would tell her to fuck off. I really would. I'm a sore loser. I would tell her that. Look, I don't care about you. Well, it's been nice talking. I, I don't and care. Competing. I don't with care you. about Uganda <gasps> or whatever. You. Go away. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Jack's gonna annoys me. Go away. Of course. A you word can if you would. All right, and you too. I hate you. You wanted to speak with me, Professor. What do you want? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation. No, it well, sucked. An you outdoor competition didn't even wasn't give me any exactly time to, to practice. I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. Oh, shut up. It was a challenging match. Miss no, it Onai wasn't. I didn't have time to practice. A fierce competitor. I didn't practice. Though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> I don't care now, about Now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment I that I am you. preparing for you. I think you're a piece of shit teacher. Okay, honestly, you're a piece of shit teacher because you didn't give me a, a chance to, uh, to practice, and I lost this black bitch over here. So, fuck you. No, I don't want to... I'm a sore loser. Anyway. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? What's it to you? What do you want? Samantha Dale. What do you want? Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I don't care. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. They're talking shit about me? I'm going to beat their asses. Well. You them. certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Shut up. I need to say... Was challenge. I did, first of all, I didn't even get what the challenge was. I, I thought I had to pull the shit to me, and then I didn't see the the fucking points or the score. Thank you, but it really wasn't all that challenging. No. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Honey, you don't want then me again, to, to be honest, he tends okay? To be a bit I fucking hurt your feelings. Is. Well, better see to my charms homework. I find Professor Ronan's lessons a bit more challenging than you do. You don't even have any boobs. He doesn't have any boobs. Oh, fuck her. She's not even pretty. Go away. Now what the fuck am I supposed- Okay. I'm angry now, guys. I don't want- I, th I thought that lesson was not fair. Okay? That is bullshit. I should have fucking- Uh, uh, what's that? And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic the Mad was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. I want to know what, how come I, I got to do a do-over against that sallow idiot, but I couldn't get a a a a, a, a rematch with this Onai cunt. Why 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 wouldn't they let me do a uh, do-over until I beat her, or, or at least until I quit? You know? No, she had to beat me and rub it in my fucking face. You know? It wasn't boots, and it wasn't. Where am I going? I don't even know what the fuck. Where, where am I going? Where the fuck am I supposed to go? What is this? Weasley after class. Ugh. Oh my god. No way to. Too much tomfoolery going on here. Too much laughing and giggling. I, I'm telling you guys, I'm a for real Slytherin. I'm, I'm a bad guy. I'd be like a mean wizard. I'd be like, like Malfoy and his dad. I remember them. The little kid was a punk, but. What? He was like for real. Him and his dad. And yeah, he was a little jerk and a little dick, but you know, there's one in every school, you know. Ugh. I'm still pissed. It's like I I, I didn't even get a chance to, to to know what to do with that fucking uh, Acasio spell or, or that contest, you know. And I lost. Wait. What? 
Okay, good. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Shut up. All of you. I'll poke your cooch with my wand. Alright, what's this? Quest! Uh, oh my god, it's 11 o'clock. You know what? I'm so tired of this. This bullshit. Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't know. Wait. Meet Professor Weez. Oh wait, that's a quest? In the transfiguration room. Classroom. I don't know. You know what? Let, let's let's save it. I'm gonna I'm gonna end this. Wait, how do I save? I didn't take a deep breath. Why is it that like video games stress me out? Like I'm not enjoying this. You know? Got great hair though. Kind of like my hair, my, my real hair. Let's just save this and turn it off. Cause wait, how do I? Oh, there we go. That's what I. That's what I'm looking for. It's settings. Here, save the game. Uh, well, I know there's auto save, right? Oh, you know what though? I don't know. Let's just put something there. Uh, okay, people. I I've had enough of this bullshit, so have a good night. Get off my stream. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll play this tomorrow. I don't know. Depends on how I feel. I didn't go to the gym today, so I guess I had a little bit of energy to play. I was just curious to see what this game is. So far, yeah, it's too much bullshit. All right, guys. Uh, tune in whenever. Maybe I'll make a schedule so that way I can get more viewers to tune in. Instead of the, uh, the usual bots that, uh, that are here. Yeah, whatever. All right, y'all. Peace out. And as always, thanks for watching.